it started off as a shake and then really turned into more of a swing. Large chunks of buildings fell to the streets as people rushed for cover. The skyscrapers nearby were swaying like trees in the wind. I did think at one point that I really might die here. And then round two as the tsunami sirens wail. You're seeing live footage of a tsunami engulfing the port area. When the ominous Black Sea attacked this island nation Friday, it left behind a massive trail of destruction that is getting worse by the hour. A giant tsunami wave crashes into the Fukushima Daiichi power plant, seriously damaging the building's reactors. The Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan said today the disaster is the worst crisis for Japan since World War II. This has been the country's worst and deadliest tornado outbreak since the Great Depression. Governor Deal declared a state of emergency in 16 counties. You think the death toll will go up? Uh, yes, sir. And we do. Oh, gosh, that is a monster tornado. The tornado moves slowly six miles through the center of Joplin. The town is now effectively cut in half. It was just crazy. It was, it was like a jumbo jet was landing on your house. Hi, I love you. It's just flattened. I really was not prepared for what I saw when I got down here. Search and rescue crews sift through the rubble trying to locate missing loved ones and the death toll moves past 100. It is a huge monumental flood. We're, we're living historic times at this point. We've almost had a foot uh, this morning, uh, and it will continue to rise and inundate uh, areas of the city. We're seeing entire trailer parks engulfed with water, people having to grab their belongings and move out. We need FEMA, we need Red Cross, we need every kind of help that we can get. You don't give up on your home. Keep fighting. trembling and the, and the the rocks are falling down. Good evening. The New Zealand city of Christchurch has been reduced to ruins by an earthquake with dozens killed and unknown numbers of people still trapped in the rubble. Can you call out to us please? The center just a few miles from this city of several hundred thousand people. I mean looking around there was just you know people hysterical not knowing really what to do next. Magnitude 6.3 quake left a lasting impression on the landscape and on the people. Flames raging out of control in northeast Arizona. This is exactly the kind of thing we hoped wouldn't happen. The way this thing is working, uh, you may not have that much time. Fire officials are putting out the order to hundreds that it's time to move to safety. We packed up for everything that we could. Memories. Memories and clothes. We don't want to leave. I'm going to cry. <laughs> we don't want to leave. Irene, roughly the size of Europe. It is staying on course to head north, with major American cities still in its crosshairs. Shelves emptying in the scramble for last-minute supplies and food to last three days. New York evacuated about 137,000 people in the low-lying sections of uh, Manhattan. What we also saw was a lot of flooding. We're talking ankle-deep, knee-deep, waist-deep. This is chaos. I never saw anything like this in my life. A massive dust storm rolled through Phoenix. It was more than a mile and a half high. Take a look at this. It came roaring into town at 60 miles per hour. One man dead, more than a dozen injured in multiple pileups involving two dozen cars, trucks, and semis across Arizona Tuesday. You have reminded me of footage I've seen of 
uh, war zones like in Iraq. Smoke everywhere. Officials in Turkey say many people have died due to a massive earthquake. The quake registered 7.2 on the scale, strong enough to cause serious damage. Thousands panicking rushed into the streets. Rescue teams have been working furiously, digging around the clock to try and rescue those that are still caught beneath the rubble. Two days after that massive earthquake struck, a miracle in the rubble. A two-week-old baby pulled alive from a collapsed building. There's no doubt in my mind what the people of this community can do. There's no doubt in my mind that Joplin will rebuild. Tears flow as many people are waiting for word on their loved ones, and comfort is all they can give each other. Talk to one another, help each other out, do the very best you can. We will come through this. We're going to keep helping these people. This is what we enlisted for. The things that people need right now, we're preparing. Uh, water, blankets, uh, medical supplies. We're not going to give up. We're going to go home.